Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. So today we are trying out a mod known as the Space Plane Plus mod made by some guy known as Porkjet, which is an extremely weird name. But anyway, so I just found this mod a couple of days ago, and if you may be wondering, the KSP Spacebot website has to move over has moved over to the Curse website since they are now partnered together, which is I think that's pretty good. Uh, but anyway, let's try out this mod. This mod has features in it that I truly wish the stock game, <laughs> KSP stock, would actually have, but it, it doesn't, of course. The very first part, the very first thing that I'm going to show you is this. Now this is an MK2 cockpit, and it looks cool, right? Look how nice it looks. It, it fits perfectly, it sort of matches the same details, it just looks really cool, right? Well, let me tell you why I find this to look really cool. Now, normally, to make a jet, you would start off with a cockpit or this cockpit, something like that, and you would have a fuselage, which I'm trying to find because I'm, I can't find it at the moment. Uh, here we go. You go something like that, and you would place it like that. To me, that never looks good. It does not look good, and I'll tell you why. It doesn't really match. Look at the, the details. I find that the details don't match and the color I find is slightly, might be slightly different. It's hard to tell. But really, I just don't like them because they don't match and it doesn't flow well. On top of that, if you look, this, this is sort of a bend and I don't really think that looks good at all. On top of that, if you were to try the other cockpit, something like that, this doesn't look good at all. I mean, just... <laughs> That, that doesn't look good, especially from the top, it does not flow well. Now normally, in stock, you would, the way to fix that would be to do something like that. If you have part clipping on, you, you do that. Now that looks better, but it's sort of yeah, glitched out a little bit. It doesn't look very nice now. <laughs> and on top of that, if you have a Kerbal inside and you want to get him out, you won't be able to because there's, there's something in the way. So. I'm actually gonna get in there and fix that. Take that out. So this is the reason why I like this mod is because it flows perfectly. I mean, look at that. That looks really cool. There's no abnormal bump all of a sudden. It just looks really nice. <laughs> Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do is get one of the new fuselages. So they have a whole bunch of fuselages and they don't have any engines in this mod. No engines, but that's okay because it's a really nice stuff. I'm gonna choose, I'll choose this guy for now. Okay, and put that there. And that, that flows fairly well, right? Alrighty, and here's another part that I find to be really cool is this, I think this is the one that opens. I might be wrong. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There's fuselages that open, and some of them I'm not really sure what they do. Hmm. Oh yeah, re-entry. <laughs> some of them are there for re-entry. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There was another one that actually opens up. I'm trying to find it. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> There's so many. Didn't I just try that? Uh, nope. Nope. It's somewhere here. Where was it? Where is it? Uh, here it is. Okay. Well, I wonder why I couldn't find it. Yeah, so they had these cargo bays that... <laughs> look, at it just opens as soon as it moves it. That's so cool. Look at that. And of course you can close it as well. Um, I didn't know the animation would play in game like this. Oh, it's really nice, but I find that so cool. You can put whatever you want in there. And as well as that, you have a crew cabin, which of course, as you may know, you can put gobbles inside in a crew cabin. You can put four in this case, which is quite a lot. And of course there are different sized cargo bays. So you can have something like that. Looks really, really cool. Really like how it opens up like that. And closes. Alright, and I think that was... Yeah, there was something else here, which I find looks really, really cool as well. Look at this. This is another one of these uh, cockpits. That really, I think, flows well. Uh, maybe you'd have this like near the back of the craft. Looks really cool. And on top of that, this is, this is really interesting. We have this drone core, which is essentially just an unmanned part 
that can control your craft. It's just like one of these guys. Yeah, so one of these unmanned parts. But in this case, it flows well. It actually curves along with the fuselage. That's what I really like about that. And I guess we need that. I don't know if we're ever going to get that. Uh, KSP team is actually pretty busy uh, working on the new update, 0.24, I think. So yeah, that looks really nice. And I think there was something else. Where was it? Yeah, this is, this is what I was looking for. Now this is basically an adapter where you can have two engines. So you can have two engines placed like that. Now we do have adapters in the game, but they don't float as well. And I'll show you. I'll actually move this aside for now. And I'll show you one of these adapters. Now this one, this, clear, this adapter clearly does not look very good, right? No. And there's another one that doesn't look good either. This eh, doesn't look very good. There's a way to work around that. If I can get it, hang on a second. Let me use my skills for a second and put that there. Wait, 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 yeah. Something like that. And you can have this on the inside. It's not perfect at the moment. I guess, who cares? But you, know, you, you just, you guys get the point. You can sort of place it like that. It's a little bit off right now, but if I placed it right, it'd look okay, but not the best. But at the very least, with this part, it flows It flows very well. Alrighty. And if you may notice, I think there's, um in one of these fuselages, let me try and find it. Yeah, look at this one. This fuselage is interesting because it has, has two of these uh, nodes. I'll just call them nodes because you can place parts a little bit up. I don't know why that was made. Actually, you know what? Maybe that was made so that we can place a part right in the center. Now that I think about it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using such a large part. Where it... Yeah, it's just for the center. So that there's for the center. But this looks really cool. On top of that, we have a whole bunch of cool looking wings. So if I show you, we have these large wings. And I really like these for a specific reason. It's because they, if you have a look, they're nice and curved, right? They're curved all around. And if I was to place more of these, it looks really cool with nice and curved curvedness. <laughs> but normally in stock, we have this wing connector, which is one of the biggest parts, one of the biggest wings. And if you place it, as you can see, it's not curved. It's just flat on the front and each side. This one's curved. This looks better than that. Okay, and including the detail as well. Look at the nice texture on it. I really like that in comparison to this. Although I guess I've seen this enough and I'm sick of it. <laughs> and on top of that, you have the delta wing. As you can see, it, it is curved on the front there. And it's curved on the back, not on the side, which I don't know why that is. I guess you can place something there anyway. But in the actual mod, you have you have a curved one. But it looks cool because of the, the color. Look at that nice gray, dark gray color. Looks so nice. And immediately we have a nice wing that if you compare it to the stock, this this mod looks looks way better. It really does. Yeah, really like this stuff. And look at this. Look at that. Cool parts. Hmm. Yeah. And there's also an air intake that I noticed. It looks really interesting. Oh, there's two air intakes. Yeah, my mistake. This one flows really well because basically it can go under. It's very hidden. And I think this was made for SSTOs. Yeah. Absurd contraptions that SSTO engineers designed. Yeah, so that looks really cool. Look how nice and it is. It's, it's hard to see, kind of. Uh, normally, you would have an air intake, something like that. And it would be very obvious. But at least with that, it's harder to see and it just looks so much better. It really does. Yeah. And then we have this other air intake, which looks cool. Uh, this is this intake looks like the one that you find on the Blackbird. And I'll show you once I place it down. And let's place it down like that. And bang. And I'll put, I'll put this over here as well. So yeah, that was, that was really nice. Really nice, right? But anyway, guys, enough from showing off. Enough from showing off? Enough showing off. I will now make something and I'll be right back.